This hashtag PVT episode is brought to you by Dr. T's Primary Care for Men and Women. Go to drtees.com for information on how you can boost the quality in your life. Also brought to you by Top Floor Cars Classic Car Dealership, 301 South Market Street in Brenham. Buy, sell, or trade. Contact Tony or Carlos at 979-337-1006 or go to topfloorcars.com. Yes. But uh, we sat down and we did an interview and you were in the process of selling your home here in Westlaco, I think it was, right? Yes. And then you were moving to uh, to San Antonio. How did that uh, How did that turn out? You had what, what was the reason you had moved to San Antonio? Well, well Lalo always talked about moving mm-hmm. and I just kind of always put it in the back of my head. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, 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 we're going to move. And then once we, we built the home, I said, oh, we're not going to move. We're going to stay, you know. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, he was adamant that he wanted to move to San Antonio because he originally is from Corpus Christi and lived in San Antonio when we met. And so he would always say when the kids graduate, uh, we're going to move to San Antonio. So finally, three years in to living there in, in, in Westaco in our new home, he's like, OK, let's go. And um, it happened during COVID, right? Yeah. So needless to say, that was difficult. And then uh, so we made the move. But um, we were there for what? Almost two years. Yeah, almost and two years, and Lalo started. How, how did how did Lalo finally, you know, get you to, uh, you know, agree to moving? If you were, because you're a small town girl, yes, and you can't get the you small can, town out of the girl. No, you can get I the know. girl out of the small town, no, but yeah. uh, you know, and San Antonio is a bit faster traffic, and you know, everything is kind of, you know, yeah, big time. So, what did Lalo? What did you do we, to get her? <laughs> <laughs> we were um, we were sort of prepping. Mm-hmm. Um, for when we decide to um, retire, okay. as you say, you know, it could be five years, it could be ten years, it could be whatever. It's but we never were, gonna happen. Yeah, dude. I don't think so. Everybody <laughs> says they're gonna retire, yeah, and, they, yeah. and they're like, okay, we're gonna go on a ten-year retirement tour. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then they're back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But we were so I, I started a business, and and uh, it's you know it got us through that period of COVID and not touring and not. Being what was studio. that business? Well, I. I initially I had just bought these machines and it was you know uh, it's called uh, landscape curbing okay and um, I started with two guys we did like four or five houses mm-hmm. then we grew to six guys and then we were doing a whole landscaping and we were wow. doing shopping centers it was it, it fast yeah like, like real fast but you know it's like I tell my close friends I could have built a million dollar business and built her a mansion but it wasn't going to matter if it wasn't in the valley. Yeah. And that's what it came down to. Yeah. So I would see her, you know, it, it was, you know, every time we would go home, <laughs> for, you know, we would visit and we would go home and she'd be crying. It wasn't, t- you know, it would, you know, you don't feel good, man. You yeah. don't feel good. You, you feel like, man, I, I and then, and then, uh, our oldest had a, a baby. So yeah. now my daughter had just had a baby. Yeah. And wow. So your grandparents. I had no chance. Yes. After that, I had no chance. <laughs> Grandma. Yeah, I have oh, an yeah. 18 month old grandbaby. Wow. That's beautiful. Yeah. Congratulations. No, menos en San Antonio, bro. Yori, yori, every, every time I come. Yeah. yeah. So it was really hard. And then leaving my mom and my dad, too, because they're getting older. And I know when my dad moved back here, because we were living in Dallas, we moved back because my grandma got sick. Mm hmm. And that was around the time I was about eight or nine that I that we moved from Dallas to the Valley. And so it's been my home ever since. And that's all I've ever really known. Yeah. You know, so it's really hard to just. And, and what I try to make Lalo understand is that, you know, he lives in a big, well, he's from Corpus. It's a bigger, you know, it's mm-hmm. bigger than Mercedes, mm-hmm. obviously. And then he lived in San Antonio and he loved it. But uh, when you're from a small town, you know, everybody and. I don't know. Pero cuando viviste en San Antonio estabas uh, single allá y you know, pues sí. Pues con life. razón te gustaba, carnal. I mean, yeah, you know, family, <laughs> family life is otro pedo, bro. Yeah. You know, it that, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it is. And it, and it wasn't just my, you know, I, I, I just wanted, again, I wanted the opportunity to start. And I told her, I said, you know what? Why don't we do it where, you know, if it if we're blessed in the sense where the business takes off, well, then maybe we can build something smaller 
in Mercedes if you want, and then we can really. Have the you, didn't, you never said that, but I'll take it. Fake news, <laughs> right there. Fake news. <laughs> I could have sworn I said that. <laughs> hey, dude. No, you never let said me Mercedes, you, but I've told a lot of things to my it. wife that she doesn't remember me telling her. <laughs> I do. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. No, they're selective hearing. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you very much. Yes. But but so. It's so funny. So funny the day that I told her, "Okay, babe, you want to go back?" And it was just that morning. As soon as I said, "You want to go back?" Pinche Ryder showed up right outside the house, <laughs> ready to go, bro. Yeah. I didn't have to tell her twice. <laughs>